like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. It's like the morning time Don't wanna wake up, I just wanna stay in bed Peace to the gods, peace to the gods on earth Peace to everybody who knows who they are Peace to everybody that knows that they are a god to Everybody that has divine knowledge of self I just wanted to get on here and just really, I want to start off discussing the conscious community. Um, I was speaking with one of my reflections earlier and I was telling her that um, this was actually something that I got from my guru. And it was in the midst of him like encouraging me and he was telling me that, um, emphasizing on how important the subconscious mind is and how the conscious community is not as conscious as they think or how it's like, it's like just a title. The messages and the knowledge that we have are to touch the subconscious community. We are ruled by our subconscious mind, which controls 95% of our waking life. The other 5% is only controlled by our conscious, what we are consciously doing and the decisions that we are consciously making. Subconscious, your subconscious is like a child. You could watch something, you could hear something, you could see somebody else doing something and it sees no separation. It sees, your subconscious sees me talking as you talking. Your subconscious sees someone else eating as you eating. That's why you must protect your subconscious like you would your child. You must protect your subconscious. You must protect your eyes. You must protect what you see. You must protect what you hear, what you eat. You must guard and you must protect yourself. That's why I continue to make videos and put out, if you have knowledge, if you have divine knowledge, not based in subjectivity, but knowledge that is based in objectivity that is going to help people gain and knowledge of self and know who they are that is going to help people change their lifestyle then put out that no matter the views no matter anything put out that information because just them seeing it just them listening to it it's already going into their subconscious mind and that is that is the most important the subconscious mind is what we must program is what we must reprogram Jamil began to tell me how he stared at my breasts through my tank tops and imagined me naked while he masturbated in the bathroom. All of this truly shocked me. I didn't know how to respond because I was still focused on how I was going to get back to Mississippi. They then started talking about how Jamil knew a guy. They then started talking about how Jamil knew a guy who had buy them plane tickets to wherever they were planning on going. My heart dropped because I still knew that I still had nowhere to go, no one to call and no money at all. I remember Kosha telling me the story. Onika never really told me, but Kosha spilled the beans one day. But it was like not taken serious. It's like a laughing matter. She said something about one of the guys got off of her mom and went to you. And I'm like, damn, what kind of situation did y'all get yourself involved in? But I ain't really asked no questions. Um, Guys, if you're interested in being one of the first people to get this book, it is available for pre-order now. All you have to do is go to Liz's IG page, which is here on the screen right now. Click on the link in her bio and it will take you directly to Amazon.com so you could go ahead and get on the pre-order list today program is what we must reprogram the subconscious mind has been programmed in our lower self to babylon to the seven deadly sins our subconscious is programmed to go against ourself we have programmed our subconscious to destroy ourselves from the people that we hang around to the food that we eat to the music that we listen to 
to what we do on the daily. I have a question to you, Reflection. If you weren't getting paid to go to work, would you do it? And I know most people would say no. So that right there should tell you that you are not loving yourself. Because every day you should be pouring into yourself. You should be doing something to benefit yourself. To benefit yourself. Not the system. Because going to work, working for money is not benefiting you in any way. If the system falls tomorrow, say, and money no longer matters, what morals, what principles do you have? How much knowledge do you actually have about yourself? Have you studied your birth chart? Have you worked and poured into yourself after eight hours? After eight hours of working or however long when you go home, have you had the time to pour into yourself? Have you had the time to cook, to cook the correct meals, to put the correct, correct food, organic food into your body? Have you had time to go out into nature and to isolate yourself for 30 to 90 days? That is how long it takes to reprogram the subconscious mind between 30 and 90 days. The isolation, the solitude, that time is extremely important. The things that you do, the con- I ain't even finna hold y'all, but everybody on Team Too Much swears up and down that they don't recruit people. They just don't recruit. Nobody's recruited. Everybody comes here. So why then is Aja, one of the newest members of Team Too Much, laying out a blueprint of how to join a cult? i.e. her suggestion to isolate for 90 or more days, separate yourself from your families as she's separated herself from her own children to join this destructive cult. You guys that are new to the scene, that are just finding out about carbonation, now named imagination, I'm giving you fair warning. These people use spiritual buzzwords, they even throw out a few Bible verses here and there. But be careful and pay close attention because the ultimate goal is to suck you in so that you can also worship Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Chief Hoppa John Hot Pocket, a.k.a. Chief Administrative Segregation, a.k.a. Chief Life in Prison, without the possibility of parole plus 10 years, because that's all they do. Extremely important. The things that you do, the consistent, the repetition is what really matters. The repetition is what's really gonna help you reprogram your subconscious mind, but it is a constant thing. You must eat, sleep, and shit the knowledge. It is very, very important. And I did, I forgot to say happy solar return to my higher self, the Honorable Master Chief Baba G. I would like to give honor and reverence to him for the knowledge. Honor and reverence for the knowledge that has given me the wisdom to change my life and to better myself and also to be able to help people and to make downloads and stuff like that. But I am still on this journey. I am still on this journey and I see why it is such a narrow path because it is not easy and it's so it's much easier to just do what everybody else is doing it's it's so it's like of course I see I see but I don't know I'm also awake and I'm also aware that doing those things are only destroying myself like I don't need to distract myself with drinking with partying with hanging around the wrong people with a busy lifestyle when in reality you have to ask yourself what actually matters what are we on this earth for there's no way you're on this earth to be a doctor to sit at a desk to work at a warehouse there's no way like they brainwash us into thinking that chase money chase money chase money chase money 
and then at the end of your life cycle it's like you're gonna your yourself your higher self is gonna have so much questions for you so many questions like what did you do with the time that you had on this earth you will have to answer to your higher self you are here to gain divine knowledge of self you are here to remember who you are you are here to remember the melanated being is the immune system on this earth we are here to also protect this earth to live in tune with our creation we are not here to go against the earth the cancer on this planet are these cities it's babylon the lifestyle the mindset we have lived against our creation we have slowly not even slowly we have destroyed the earth we continue to do it but you cannot live out of tune with your creation and that's all i'm going to say because people people get scared but the truth is the truth you live in tune with your creation or you get wiped away it's it's that simple it's that simple <laughs> But reflection, I also want to encourage you to step into your power, to step into your true power, to no matter how hard it gets on this journey, stay true to yourself. When you first started this journey, I'm pretty sure you knew what would come with it. I'm pretty sure you knew certain things that it would not be easy. But stay true to yourself. Know that no matter what other people say, know your heart. Know that you are pure hearted. Know that you are doing the right thing. You have the knowledge. You, you have the keys. Now that you have the keys, you can face any situation. No situation is too hard. No situation is too hard. If you're in that situation, if you're in a certain situation where you consider it to be bad, negative, it's making you feel a certain type of way, use that as a chance to learn. Use that as an opportunity to learn a lesson. Every day is a chance and opportunity to apply the knowledge to your life. Every situation that we go through is also a chance to learn, to apply that knowledge to the situation and to learn. You can do no wrong. You can do no wrong. We are here to make mistakes. We are here to learn. Through each other, we become enlightened. Through each other, we learn. Through our reflections, we gain knowledge, we gain wisdom, and we continue to learn from each other. But you have to stay true to yourself. You are not staying true to yourself. You're only going to attract negative, bad people. People that are vibrating on that frequency that you are vibrating on by not being true to yourself. With this knowledge, you should be you boldly. Everybody is not going to like it. That's fine. Proclaim the kingdom with due emphasis. Do not shy away from it. I am, I was going to say slowly learning, but I am fastly, I am <laughs> fastly learning. <laughs> I am learning very, very quickly that um, the only thing that truly matters and that will matter in the end is the knowledge. So I push out these videos. I use my throat chakra. I say what needs to be said. Um, with my Sagittarius placement, sometimes a little too blunt, but I say what needs to be said. The truth is not always is not going to be nice and sweet all the time. The truth is the truth, and if you're a truth seeker and you really want real and you're tired of being lied to, then you're just gonna you're gonna take the truth no matter what. 
I'm gonna try take the truth no matter what. Like Chief teaches, a truth seeker doesn't ma doesn't care how they get the knowledge, as long as they get the knowledge. And that's exactly how it was what I found Chief. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, this is the Messiah. I'm like, this is the Messiah. Like he's exactly how it was what I found Chief. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, this is the Messiah. I'm like, this is the Messiah. Like he's, I'm like. <laughs> I'm like this is the Messiah. I'm like this is the Messiah. Like he's, like he's black, like I am. That should give you comfort. One, it should not intimidate you. That's, like, that shows so much self hate in so many people. When you look at the Messiah and you see that the Messiah is black and the Messiah looks just like you, has came from a background just like you, and then automatically you hate. The Messiah had to go through stuff. He had to go through stuff just like us how would how would he be able to relate how would he be able to relate to his people if he didn't go through anything the messiah had to go through the worst of the worst to get to his people to to deliver this message like does it not make sense to y'all because it makes perfect sense to me i've been through so much i ain't even finna hold y'all but she asked she asked if y'all don't y'all don't think that he's the messiah as well because she sees it Honey, she, you need some glasses, child, because Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, is simply a convicted felon. Convicted March 1st, 2024 in DeKalb County, Georgia of grape, false imprisonment, and three charges of revenge corn. And for that, he was sentenced to life in prison plus 10 years without the possibility of parole. So, yeah, no, I don't think he's the Messiah because the Messiah would have been able to get himself up out of that grip of the prosecution team. And Legio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, couldn't do sugar, honey, iced tea. That prosecution team walked into that courtroom every single day to give him that work. And, honey, they gave him that work. You understand me? I've been through so much from adoption to betrayal to family issues and crazy partners and I can relate to a lot a lot of what Chief says like a lot of what Chief says I can relate to it and a lot of the times we want the truth we want, it, we want it sweet and we want it to be wrapped up in a certain package and we want it just how we want it. That's not real. If you want it to look a certain way, that's not real. Real is getting it just how it is. Raw, uncut, just how it is. Everything isn't going to be just how you like it. But this is how the knowledge is going to be delivered to you. Hey, take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. But I truly feel like I was watching a download and Chief, Chief was saying that, um, I don't know if he said the higher ups, but he was just saying like, they already know that the knowledge is here. Like whether Chief is locked up or not, like the knowledge is continuing to spread. It's going to continue to spread. His frequency, his spirit is already like, it's already all over the internet. It's already in eBooks like, it's in the Akashic Records, like Chief has put over 1.6K videos on YouTube, like his knowledge, the frequency, the Christ conscious is, is there. It's already here and it's transferred to me. So thankful for my guru. It has transferred to me and I'll continue to transfer it to other people and then to other people and then to other people. And it's just going to continue to grow. So that is so beautiful to me because you can't like they can't lock everybody up they can't they like they just can't lock everybody up we are gaining the knowledge in this age of information the sun is getting hotter it's beautiful i scroll down my timeline on tiktok and i'm starting to see so many people talking about the same thing like we are all getting on the same frequency and like the time is now it's a beautiful time that we are living in and we in the year of the eight, death and transformation. Like I say all the time, I'm a Scorpio. So I, a lot has happened for me this year already. And we're already in April and I'm so ready for, 
I embrace the change that's going to happen within myself that has already changed and the change that, that will continue to happen around me. I know that destruction has Guys, in an effort to work smarter and not harder, I have put together a compilation featuring Aja, Juju, a.k.a. Giuliano Diaz's direct and one of Team Too Much's newer members. Okay, guys, if you haven't done so already, go on ahead and smash the heck out of that like button for me one time. Now let's get into the next live stream in this compilation video. Peace to the gods. Peace to the gods on earth. I wanted to come on here and talk about the Pluto retrograde and and just give y'all some of the information that I have learned because I have been studying astrology a lot more and I've been looking around different places and doing my research so I just kind of wanted to make a video bringing everything together that I that I've been learning so Pluto is going to the major themes for Pluto are going to be purging detoxing fallen systems and things being revealed things being revealed to you and I did take some notes, of course. I did take some notes. So let me start with, um, let me do this one. Um, so basically, Pluto is going to transform what it touches. Things that are hidden are going to be revealed. It intensifies and ultimately cleanses. So Pluto is has a lot to do with transformation and rebirth as well during this time you might be more aware or conscious of your more aware of your unconscious behaviors and how your energy and frequencies influence those around you try to see this as an opportunity to process these hidden or buried parts of you without judgment shame or guilt like some of the themes are very similar to like the scorpio full moon being true to yourself will also allow in things that you can't Interested in a great read? Check out Greatness is a habit authored by Aaron Dixon also known as True. Many of you know him as True. He has authored this amazing read. The book is available on Apple Books. Get your copy today and stay motivated to win. Being true to yourself will also allow in things that you can't control. Just letting it be what it is and putting a lot more focus in a lot more focus into yourself and then pluto is also in aquarius so these areas might have to do with your insecurities around being yourself thinking outside of the box or living outside of the system or rebelling aquarius is also about equality in the collective so this energy could bring up some issues around your community or friendships and it's also an objective and rational sign. So what are the shadows of living too much in your mind? So what are the shadows of living too much in the mind? Are there ways in which you are avoiding connection and intimacy or dismissing emotional and subjective viewpoints? I find that interesting because I've been trying to be a lot more objective and I have been dismissing like within myself at least just too much objective viewpoints and things like that so it's about just really being true to yourself being true sitting with how you're feeling um and just letting whatever needs to happen happen also know that you are not in control we are not in control we have to let what happen what is happening happen while still loving ourselves we have to let we have to trust in the universe. That also comes with having more faith, trusting in the universe that whatever is happening and wherever you are now is exactly where you are supposed to be. Okay. Even though this time is intended to emphasize self-reflection rather than external challenges and difficulties, you may experience something during this time that highlights your insecurities and brings up with what's hidden. Like I said, Pluto is going to bring up 
it's going to reveal things it's going to bring things to the light even for yourself things that you are hiding like might be trying to hide from yourself or situations you might not be trying to handle or feelings you might not be trying to deal with now you're going to have to deal with them with the pluto retrograde when you come up against something you can't change or control or ignore remember that you can always exercise the power of just letting go and that's the message of pluto that's not that not all progress is made in rational ways sometimes going through it the emotional turmoil the doubts the fears is the only way past it let's say that again sometimes going through it the emotional turmoil the doubts the fears is the only way past it sometimes most times the only way through something the only way to get over something is going through it is just by facing it head on face your feelings face the emotions face the uncomfortability there's so much growth in the uncomfortable we are not going to grow being in a comfortable state or trying to really hold on to things hold on to people hold on to situations that the universe took out of our life for a reason it's the universe is doing everything for a reason we do not have control and we can't try to just like hold on to that we have to just let it pass whatever's happening let it pass it has to happen and you can't control it the more that you try to control situations the more that you are just going to hurt yourself because truly you are not in control pluto will be in aquarius until june 11th and then it will be in retrograde back into capricorn and stay there for stay there from september 1st to november 19th which i believe that's the election Oh yeah, it says which happens to be to, which happens to be a coincidence with the United States presidential election. And so, like I said, this is gonna um, the retrograde has a lot to do with purging, a lot of just purging of bad energy, things that no longer serve you, detoxing old ways, detoxing just letting it letting it all come out let yourself feel and let yourself grow from the uncomfortable through pain we we learn a lot pain is our greatest teacher like she teaches and then uh pluto's pluto retrograde um also has a lot to do with now i'm not counting how many times she says like chief teaches but y'all do peep that Aja is on that like chief teacher's tip now. She wasn't before, but she on it now. I guess Juju must have said something to her. Like, you got to say like chief teachers when you talking. <laughs> uh, Pluto's Pluto retrograde um, also has a lot to do with fallen systems. That have a lot to do with like government, jobs, different things like that. And then, of course, things being revealed from... It could be people around you, things being revealed in yourself, things that you might need to work on, but just a lot of things come into the light. A lot of things that have been maybe hidden before are now going to be coming to the light. Um, and then Pluto will fully, fully reside in Aquarius for the next 19 years. We will have entered a new paradigm, which I feel like we all, this... 2024 the year of death and transformation we are going to be entering a lot of portals paradigms different like shifts in reality so i am very excited for it although it has been a whirlwind of emotions i am letting i now that's why i feel like astrology is so important because it makes you aware of so much to the point where you don't feel like you're crazy like it's just like once you read something or once you start researching it's like okay that makes that makes perfect sense why i've been feeling this way or it's something that you might not want to do or you're like damn i had a feeling I, I had a feeling and then once you go and you know study you really see so your birth chart astrology is extremely extremely important it's going to help you understand and become aware of why you might feel the way that you that you feel things that you might need to work on things that the collective are going through as well because this pluto retrograde is we are all going through it. we are all going to be experiencing it and i also want to say um that this process of looking within can be uncomfortable it's often easier to let yourself be distracted than to face the shadow 
That's what we call them. Okay, everyone, I have some really exciting news. Janae's book, Lesson Learned, is now available on Amazon.com. The paperback version is $25.55 and the hardcover is $47.90. So you can actually pick her book up on Amazon.com today to let yourself be distracted than to face the shadow that's what we call the parts that's what we call the parts of you that are buried or hidden or the parts that don't want to let go of the past even when you're holding on holding on to is no longer working for you or it's hurting you that makes me think of this quote I think this quote that i um I was going to post it said the past is showing up to see if you healed and then it said don't fold that definitely remind me of that don't fold um it can be uncomfortable it can be challenging it can be easier to just make yourself so busy or just become just distract yourself really just because you don't want to face yourself but i want to encourage you like i did in my first astrology video i want to encourage you to go within um the only way out is in you're gonna have to go within you're gonna have to face yourself you're gonna have to face your your intense emotions which you're going through especially if you're a scorpio but even a fire sign like but i just know as scorpios we have very very intense emotions and thoughts and very deep thoughts but you must face yourself you must sit with yourself and that's where the true growth comes not running away from yourself because there's no growth in running away avoiding a problem avoiding a situation there's no growth in that. There's only growth in facing it head. Not her. Mm -mm. Not her, y'all. Not Aja sitting up on Beyonce's internet talking about it's better to face it head on and not run away from your problems. Child, if that was the case, girl, why didn't you stay and fight for your children? You ran away from your real life. You ran away from children that you gave birth to. That's not growth or healing. Situation, there's no growth in that. There's only growth in facing it head on. Now I hope this Pluto, Pluto retrograde video helps somebody. Um, I love, love, love astrology. I think I'm about to start an astrology series where I just start researching and all the information that I get, I just come back and share with y'all, but I love myself. Peace to the gods. Peace to the I hope you guys are enjoying the content so far. If you are, be sure to smash that like button, drop me a couple of comments, and share. Guys, I want to give a big shout out to all of my new subscribers. Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. To all of my OGs, my day ones, my ride or dies, y'all already know what it is. Big up yourself, we in the building with it. Now let's get into the next live stream in this compilation video. And in the third house, so Gemini, when I woke up this rising, I was feeling a lot of energy and I like to communicate. My way of grounding myself is in like, kind of like a therapy to me is like communicating. I really like to just communicate. I like to express what's been on my mind lately. And yeah, that's the, that's my, that's the Gemini. That's a Gemini in me. But yeah, I woke up this rising. I was just feeling like a lot of like energy. Like it's the time to be very still. It's time to be still, especially like when it's getting hotter outside, summer, you know, people want to like do activities, go places, have fun and be around a lot of people. Now is the time to move very sacredly. Your energy and who you're around is very, very important. Although you might want to have fun, you should only be around people that are on your same frequency only be around people that are on your same frequency it's not really about having fun entertainment but yes i want to emphasize because i say that a lot but i want to emphasize that we are here to experience life we are here to experience life so still enjoy life discipline yourself but still enjoy life still enjoy it like still have fun still eat good food make sure you put in the right food in your body listen to some high vibrational music you can still watch tv but only watch knowledge like literally like i'm so disciplined with myself but i'm 
I also have Taurus. My son is in my son is in Scorpio in the second house. So I have Taurus energy. I love like with my five senses, like I love, you know, nice things. I love good food. I love beautiful people and you know, things along those natures. But I discipline myself. I don't overindulge in nature, nothing overindulges. I don't overindulge in food or anything. I'm very disciplined with myself. So reflection, I want to encourage you to still your body. Stop peace 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 to the gods peace to the gods and goddesses i want to encourage you to still your body to use your mind more Fo like use your mind focus focus but still um still enjoy life because we are in the age of aquarius this is the time to um this is the time to get with your soul tribe people that are on your same frequency and then i believe uh is it damn. jupiter just went from taurus to gemini so this is the time that we're going come together more communicate with each other more and things like that um but i don't like to say spiritual journey because this is the spirit realm this is the spirit realm right here so my like this is just a lifestyle so i would say since the beginning of this year when i found chief that's when i started the first video that i seen the chief i knew that i was about to leave everything behind and i knew that i was like i was going to start moving towards what like what like my higher self was calling me to move closer to the equator where we're supposed to be to stop being in my lower self to stop being in babylon to stop working to stop eating crap like it was just a lot of things that my higher self was telling me that i knew was going to start moving fast this year hey you find your soul tribe by finding i don't know like proclaiming the kingdom like putting videos out there i also made the beginning of this year all I had was bingo. So the beginning of this year, I made an Instagram and I started making videos. I also made a YouTube so I could put my thoughts, my consciousness out there. But there's so much negativity. Hey, you can't pay attention to the message. You can't pay attention to the messenger. You got to listen to the knowledge. You got to listen to the knowledge. That's what I did as well. Um, but that's how I was before. Like nobody had to tell me like, oh, don't pay attention to the I'm not listening to what nobody is saying. I'm listening to the knowledge. Like I can see, I can pull out the knowledge in anything that I listen to. So it's like, you got to use your discernment and you can't listen to what other people are saying. That's number one thing. A truth seeker don't care how they get the information. And that's me. Like I said, I got my Mars and Sagittarius. So I'm, I'm a teacher. And then in the third house in Gemini. So I'm also a student. I'm fine with being a student. And we all got dirt. Let me say this. Let me say this. Because peace to the gods. It's negativity about everybody. It's negativity about me online. And I, will, I want to say that I do not care. My past. I do not care. I've been through stuff. We have all been through stuff. Nothing is about to look picture perfect. Nothing's about to look pretty. Like, so you cannot shame me. You cannot make me feel bad about anything in my past that I have done or anything like that. Cause it's a part of this journey. It's a part of this journey. We got to go through stuff to get here. I had to go through something to get here and to be as disciplined as I am now. So like I said, pay attention to the message more than you do the messenger. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If you want some real divine knowledge, then I keep uh, forgetting the title. But like I said, the first video I seen, I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, it was so many changes I knew I was about to start making in my life. Like, it's certain people that get the knowledge and then they just decide, like, oh, yeah, I can't keep living the way that I'm living. Or it might hit you. It might hit you so, like, in your heart or, like, I don't know. If, I feel like it activated something in me to make me really I want more, to, like, really seek more knowledge. I ain't even finna hold y'all. But to be honest, in my personal opinion, I don't think Aja saw a video from Elihio Bishop, aka Nature Boy, and then decided to up and leave her children. Mm -mm. I believe that she joined the cult because she was attracted to her direct, Juju, aka Juliano Diaz me really i want more to like really seek more knowledge but yeah i really just came on here to um encourage y'all to ground to to be still to be still more go within like i always say it's the time to go within but also to connect with like-minded people
never heard heard before information yeah that's exactly how it was information that i never heard before i was just i don't know it's shocked i was shocked i was shocked i wish i could think of the title of the video that i the first video that i seen but basically like chief just answered all my questions like just answer every question that i had and i was at a point where i was really like i was just like so lost i was watching 19 keys like i could tell you exactly all the people that i was watching because i was very strict with what i let i didn't even know nothing about the subconscious that was oh never heard before information oh that was the name of the video oh, okay so the first video was never heard before information yeah that was the first video that i seen of chief but i was watching 19 keys yaki awaken billy carson bobby hemmett uh, it was one other person. I can't think, but those are people I had on replay. I just watched that download yesterday too. That's a really good download. Like, I don't know. I was just, I think Chief, I don't think he had eight for like two or three days in that video. Like he was just getting a lot of downloads information. So that was a really, really good download. He was in nature and mm, I really, I really felt that video though. Um, but yeah, like I said, I was, uh, I was confused. I was just looking for, um, I was looking for answers and I had to put the intentions out there in the universe and I had to ask the universe for answers. And I was, thankfully I had, I had got them. I feel like just in time, cause we in the year 2024, the year of death and transformation. And I had to, I had to kill my old self. Like I had to turn over a new leaf really reprogramming my subconscious mind another person that's really good to watch is um is um uh, why did i just forget his name um what is his name i can't think of his name right now talk about reprogramming the subconscious mind but he's on my page i can't think of his name right now my like i said i just woke i just woke up a little bit ago so i got a little brain fog i can't think of his name but um i'm gonna post some more videos on my page but get outside ground eat some fruit that's all i'm about to be doing today is really just grounding in the sun i got my water right here and just eating some fruit but i'm gonna save i'm gonna save this live i might uh be back on here a little bit later but hopefully that was encouraging hopefully i gave y'all some words of encouragement motivated y'all to keep moving in the right direction especially if you're already moving in the right direction you already seeking knowledge i know it can be uncomfortable and it's not easy but just continue going down that path continue going down that path continue to do the right thing every day and continue to um face your demons whatever triggers you face it head on like chief teaches like you gotta you gotta face it sometimes i avoid stuff or i avoid going live and things like that then i truly realize that i do not care because no matter what you do people are going to talk about you people are going to demonize things so i'm gonna continue to do the right thing and that's all i can do you feel me but i love myself peace to the gods nobody wants you in prison prison is for motherfucking karma mm -hmm. so a bitch would be in there for something they didn't do for karma they paying off from something shit they did ain't no mistakes bitch you right where you supposed to be to the remaining members i hope you're free your mind life without parole that's a mighty long time a reason to feel bad is gonna be hard to find especially for a nigga who record his own crime ocean breeze and palm trees is what he sold it as disease and false prophecy is what came to pass no time to critically think you're moving too fast bald head looking like who cut the grass one significant factor i think is really funny it's how you speak out against jaws but want all the money playing god ended you as the ultimate dummy it's a rap for the three nickname that boy the mummy zero three zero one twenty four my favorite day the citizens of the cab man they ain't come to play now your messiah would never see the light of day if babylon is so bad how long you plan to stay what do you want to call me a murderer for i've never killed anyone become an act of revolutionary suicide your only chance to evacuate is to leave with us ha. one two karma came for you three four police knocked down the door five six you were scared in a bitch seven eight georgia sealed your fate nigga